Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to compare the memory footprint of um, Quarkus loaded with microprofile dependencies with an empty servlet container. So let's try this. I would like to create a project first with the group ID AirHex name Q, REST resource, and then switch to the project. And um, now what I would like to do is to have a list of all extensions with the name SmallRai. Why this? Because the SmallRai dependencies are microprofile dependencies. SmallRai is the implementation of microprofile. And then I would like to add extension. And this already looks good. REST, this is a typo here. So um, we need a REST easy. REST easy. So, okay. So they are added. So we, we added um, all the dependencies, REST is JSON B, REST client, microprofile health, um, metrics and open API. What I didn't uh, include was the JSON web token because we, will, we would need a public key um, installed and open tracing because I don't have Jaeger tracing running. So, okay, but um, let's start to code. And what I would like to do is I would like to create so we have the hello resource and I would like to create a uh, hello service which is going to be injected and I also would like to create a, a message and a probe, a health check. Probe. So let's start with the probe because it's standalone and I will have to annotate that because it's Quarkus application scoped. Then liveness and readiness, liveness and readiness, readiness, and the probe has to implement an interface, implements health check, health check, and then there's one single method, oh, not move, I have to implement at the method, and this is the health check response, and uh, I only would like to say return health check response up and this should be tiny hopefully this is the hope tiny so um this is done then let's go with the message we need a public string content so the message is going or has to have a content we need a constructor uh, with content tent content and uh, what I also need is, I would like oh, to set a field. It's just convenience constructor is not really needed. So the hello message is a class annotated with dependent because in Quarkus all classes have to be annotated in order to be injected. Then I also would like to have a method which returns a message and I would like to have a configured message so use config property with the name let's call it greet and uh, or greeting string greeting and uh, now I can return a new message with um, hello now oh, this is other way around but so and of course, not to forget, we have configured this right now and greeting. And I actually wanted to have really Duke. It's not a greeting, but should still work. So we have a hello service. Of course, uh, we would like to have some meter uh, metrics metered to. So so we have one metric. It's dependent, and now hello resource will have to use the hello service service, and I have to inject that that service and uh, where is my service my injection point wait a second application scoped message and return this uh, service with the message so this looks good this is still oh now it works so I can inject my now oh, inject I can import my inject annotation so um, looks good so we have the hello service we have the message and we have the probe. Okay, so now uh, I would like to kill Visual Studio Code first because it will appear here. To, uh, it contains a language server in the background. So, okay, so now Maven uh, package or clean install. 
should also work. And now remove the tests, source test Java. So, and now it's a little bit faster, hopefully. Okay. Now I would like to launch Quarkus, Java, uh, Java minus jar target runner. Okay, so now um, let's see how big it is. So 170 megs from the outside. And uh, now let's take a look from the inside. So I would like to launch JVisual VM. And here is Quarkus. And we have 15 megs, but we didn't use the application yet. So now let's use it. So now we invoke the welcome page. Hello seems to work. So here is hello. So let's go with the metrics. Metrics and open API should also work. So if I go to open API, so if I do this, it will ask me to download. So it looks good and see how healthy our Quarkus is and it looks good. So now um, what changed here? So it used some memory, performed garbage collection and is back to 10 max or even seven max. So actually looks really good. So now um, the problem is the 200 max. So it sounds a lot, 200 max. So um, what we could try is the following. I would like to kill Quarkus, then restart it with, let's say, let's see, be brave, something like this. Wow. So we started with 18 max heap. So let's see. So it is down to 80 max, and now let's see. I'm really curious what happens from the from the inside. So I would like to connect to Quarkus, monitor, perform GC, and it's down to four, and we see it consumes 18 max. I'm really curious whether it actually works. So this is still working, and our hello endpoint is working. So all everything s seems operational now is uh it, it consumes around five max okay this looks good so now let's kill quarkus so what i also have here kill all java so um i also have here uh jetty installed so try that jetty then go here and uh run jetty and we will have to use Jetty Start. So looks good. Jetty started very quick, 600 milliseconds. So let's go here. Hello. And, um, oh no, hello. There is no hello. There is an empty Jetty, hopefully. Yes, this was a cache, empty Jetty. So now um, empty Jetty is around 100 meg, so a little bit larger than uh, then Quarkus, but it's unfair. I have no idea with when, with which minus XMX settings it started, but what we can do, we can take a look um, on the inside of Jetty. This is the Jetty, how much an empty servlet consumes, and now it's 100 max, but after garbage collection is down to 12 max or 7 max. So uh, Quarkus fully loaded with micro profile dependencies is a little bit smaller than an empty servlet engine, Jetty, and uh, uh, and also smaller as Tomcat because Tomcat is a little bit larger than uh, Jetty. Thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, projects, or workshops at Munich Airport, airhex.com. So thank you and bye.